turnout we have today for Save Texas Schools. Pardon? I want to thank all of you for being here, but I especially want to thank Alan Weeks for all the work that he has done in organizing this event. We are here today to send a clear message. The message is number one, do not cut funding to public education. And the message number two, that we're here, is to elect people to state level positions and to legislative positions that support our public schools. The state of Texas has failed in its mission to fund public education. The schools of Texas won a lawsuit in 2005, yet Texas has failed in its mission to write a new methodology of funding that works. Texas has failed in providing an adequate funding level. Texas has failed in providing an equitable funding level. Texas has failed to create a system that takes care of the growth of this state as far as students are concerned. And Texas has failed in providing a system that will provide more revenue for our schools. They failed in providing the replacement of revenue when property taxes were dropped for the citizens of Texas from $1.50 to $1. And we were promised that that money would be replaced. And yet the business margins tax has fallen $5 billion short, which actually created much of the structural deficit that the legislature had to deal with. And very simply, public education was cut because of the structural deficit and the money that was not replaced because they reduced the property taxes of the citizens of Texas. And the state of Texas benefits from the property value increases in each one of your districts, not your school district. We have had a system of failure since 2006, where most districts today have less money per pupil than they did in 2006. And on top of all that, in the last legislative session, they cut $4 billion out of the foundation school program and another $1.4 billion in grants and special revenues. The real truth of the matter is very simply this. For the first time in 60 years, the legislature that meets in this building behind us failed to finance the current school funding law. That shows very clearly the priority that Texas has put on public education. I heard a new term during the legislative session called the new normal. And I was actually told in a legislative committee meeting to get used to it. This is the new normal, the cut. Let me tell you what the new normal is. The new normal for them was a cut of, again, of $4 billion to the foundation school program and $1.5 billion in special grants, such as the successful school initiative. The new normal is ignoring the fact that the current taxing structure will not support the basic services for Texas citizens. The new normal to them is accepting the fact that Texas will now rank very near the bottom in spending per pupil in this nation. The new normal for them is larger class sizes, less counselors, less academic support teachers, and less instructional assistants. I don't know about you, but I refuse, I refuse to accept the new normal. Let, the new normal should be about improving our system. This year, right now, because of growth in revenues, the legislature could meet and access the rainy day fund and they could take $2 billion from that rainy day fund and they could avoid the cuts that are going to be placed on public education for this next school year. But they have very simply, and our governor has said no. Our governor has said no special session. Yet at the same time, at the same time, for all of you out there, they're requiring more rigorous testing, a new accountability system, raising standards, expecting more, 
Very simply, they are asking teachers, students, administrators, everyone, let's do more and more, but you're going to do it with less and less. And the question very simply is this, does our public understand? Do they understand the structural deficit in the Texas taxing system? Do they understand the detrimental effect that it's having on an adequate school funding system in our state? The bottom line to it is, and what this rally is about is very simply this, you must get involved. You must talk to family, to groups, to your churches, to people that you associate with, and you must let them know about the, the devastation that is really occurring in our public schools today. The trend we saw this past year in the Texas legislature is simply going to starve public education. And I think that is exactly what some people have had a desire to do. Yes, throwing money at education may not be the answer, but I will tell you, failing to support education at its current level, when Texas already ranked 44th in the, in the nation in the amount spent per pupil, and failing to provide for new students who are coming into this state, that system is a recipe for disaster, and certainly it's a recipe for mediocrity, and it is totally irresponsible on the part of our state leaders and our state legislators. In closing, in closing, I simply say, the fight begins now, not in January. The fight begins now with elections, not when the legislature comes in. The system of funding public education in Texas is broke, and Texas has failed in its mission to fund education adequately, equitably, and responsibly. Change has to begin now. Change begins in the courts with the lawsuits that have been filed, and change begins with electing people to the legislature who will support education, they will support education with their actions, not just their words. Thank you and God bless Texas.